Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk ETC. I have our friend Pyskel, otherwise known as Anthony from the ETC Cooperative with me today, and we're going to talk about the latest news. So as usual, welcome Pyskel. Hey, Christian. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of stuff going on, uh, the summit, the Coinbase listing. So why don't, let's just jump right into it. Uh, uh, fill us in on the details. What do you want to talk about first? Uh, sure. So for the summit, it's getting along really great. We have quite a lot of interest now. Um, mm -hmm. We've actually been getting to the point where we've been having to turn people away. That's a good so, sign. Yeah, it's a completely booked schedule. The agenda is almost 100% finalized, just waiting on somebody to confirm a talk. But we're going to have tons of inf tons of uh, talks there, everything from what all the different teams are doing to you know, doing multi-chain and cross-chain transactions, live uh, IoT demonstrations, going to be having some people presenting on some more of the philosophy of cryptocurrencies, talking about immutability, censorship resistance, how forks work mm -hmm. um, and how they play out. Have a couple different projects that already run on ETC that are going to be talking. For example, um, Edelson Osorio Jr. of Original My. He's going to be talking about how he uses ETC to provide some identity and authentic authentication on the blockchain. Okay. So that's going to be great. You know, that's a project that's been running on ETC for well over a year now, if not two. Okay. Um, and yeah, we've just got a lot to talk about, a lot of topics too on just uh, crypto economics and ETC in particular. We're actually going to even be hearing about um, why Coinbase chose to list ETC, which I'm sure is a question that's big yes. on a lot of people's minds yeah, I'd be that I've been that. slowly explaining on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, good. Kind of sound like a broken record sometimes. But yeah, there's there's a lot going on there. Now, I remember the videos were available last for the last year's summit. I appreciated that. I presume somebody's going to record for people that can't attend Mm -hmm. the, okay, so yeah, that'll be great. Um, yeah, I heard Charles's, I heard his talk live, but I still wanted to hear parts of it again. So it was nice to have the video. Yeah, of course. It's going to be uh, live streamed on YouTube. And then we're going to have, uh, you know, videos offline right after as well. So anybody can watch it whenever. They're even going to be translated into Korean. So we'll have a whole other uh, group that we normally don't reach too well. Um, at least on the U.S. side, uh -huh. and be able to be exposed to that. And actually, um, shout out to uh, to Kim Gyeong Sup. He's going to actually be giving a talk about ETC in the Korean community on the second day of the summit. And he's a very popular admin within ETC, and he's just been in a very early ETC enthusiast. So okay. really glad to have him and meet some new people who have liked etc as long as i have oh good now okay now that brings up another another question or something i'm wondering so at last year's summit they were very uh uh inviting of the or they, they they were accommodating to the chinese presence and they had some talks for or, or some things were translated some discussions so now if, if you're doing it in korea if we want to support the chinese community but we're going to try. I'm what pretty soon. What I'm saying is pretty soon it's going to be like the United Nations. You're going to have all these translators. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're going to have a UN esque uh, translation unit sitting at everybody's <laughs> desk, okay. but only into Korean. Um, okay. Yeah. It's translators are expensive. So, okay. Uh, okay. but yeah, it should be a lot of fun. And then on top of that, we're still working out a side agenda. So on the second, on the first day, we have a lot of, you know, more technical talks and talks about what different teams are doing. Mm -hmm. And on the second day, there's, you know, some more philosophical things and a lot more uh, things on the economics of it. So what we're going to be doing on the second day for those people who maybe on the first day see some tech talks like the side chains, like IoT, and they are developers, you know, they want to know how to use it. We're going to have some 
uh, things in a side breakout room where you can go and get a more in-depth explanation. So rather than just seeing what you can do, you can see actually how you can do it, and you can ask the developers working on these projects questions. Okay. Uh, that that schedule isn't finalized yet. Still trying to figure out uh, exactly what's going to be shown. Mm -hmm. But just so anybody listening is aware that we're going to have that, and it's going to be great. Great. Wonderful. All right. So what else is going on? Or did, First of all, is there any, anything else about the summit? Do we cover everything? Yeah, don't ever plan a summit. If you're listening <laughs> to this right now, conference planning is no joke. It is very tough and very really? complicated. Really? Don't bother. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. Uh, but no, 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 nothing else. Um, it should be a, it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking okay. forward to it quite All a right. lot. Yes, very good. All right. Now, anyway, any any talk about having a summit in in the states or in another continent, even? Yeah, so not this year, but I'm thinking next year I may want to do it uh, more on the Western side, either uh -huh. U.S. or Canada. Uh, that's okay. not confirmed and it's not official, but it's just a thought that I'm thinking of because it might be easier to get people over. Okay. Now, you the way you said that, it was like it's it's your, like you're the, the kingpin, it's your decision, so we should all kind of lobby you then if we have our uh, favorite city. Please, please don't lobby me. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, nah, we'll we'll see. I'm obviously going to ask uh, the community when the time comes, anyway. So just like this decision, we gave a few choices, and it ended up being South Korea. The next one, we'll do the same thing. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. So what else um, is going on? Oh, sorry. Give me catch up. Yeah. Yeah, so next thing that's going on, obviously, is Coinbase is listing ETC now on Coinbase Consumer tonight mm -hmm. uh 5 p.m. PT, which I think is 8 EST. Right. Uh, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. There's, you know, we've been working just to get ready for that, you know, kind of be prepared on the moderation front, make sure all our public nodes are up and working good you know, make sure all our websites are up and all that fun stuff, uh -huh. just so we're ready for the influx of interest that may occur with uh, the Coinbase listing. Right. So, yeah, just excited to see it, really. Yeah. Even though, like, I personally don't care much about price, it's just, uh, it's really good to be able to reach more users. You know, a lot of people may enter this uh, brand new frontier of cryptocurrencies simply by looking at price i mm -hmm. will completely admit to doing the same thing myself back in 2014 and my hope is that that smaller portion of users who can who will eventually take a bigger interest in cryptocurrencies far beyond the price and for buying them to sell them later will be able to you know look at projects like etc and bitcoin and say you know i think this is actually a really cool thing i want to volunteer here or i want to read more about it and learn more about what's going on in cryptocurrencies so it's great to be on coinbase just for that purpose because a lot of the new blood uh -huh. uh, within cryptocurrencies especially in the u.s gets exposed first through coinbase still to this day so really great to see that Okay, so oh yeah, it's I, I I have no idea what what people what brings people into the community or makes people realize one coin or another. But yeah, so if, if Coinbase you're saying is is really the people's first point of entry, then that's 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 great that we're on Coinbase, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and also they, you were talking. They still about, add fifty thousand users a day. Coinbase, they it's add, incredible. They add yeah. 50, oh my gosh. 50,000 okay. KYC AML users a day. Wow. So real legitimate people. Okay. okay. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Now you were saying that you you care about more than price and which which I do too of course and we all do. But so maybe we should say something about that. So the we there's been a correction recently, right? And that mm -hmm. doesn't that doesn't just let me just state the obvious. That doesn't mean that the technology, of course, is not sound, right? The, the markets go up and down. 
And um, but the, the underlying technology is, is still substantive and there's a lot going on there. And the value of the price will just keep increasing in the long term, whereas in the short term, we don't know day to day what's going to happen. Right. Yeah, I mean, hope you hope it will. Uh, but really, yeah, price, it's so speculative and it's so volatile and there's very, very small volumes on a lot of cryptocurrencies. Really, uh, even Bitcoin does very small volume relative to like what the global economy does. Wall Street. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. not even just Wall Street. All the money in the world, it's probably close to what if you add up the bank transfers and all that you're probably looking at you know 10,000 billion 10 trillion dollars okay and the entire cryptocurrency market uh with everything included does what 10 or 20 billion it's like a drop in the bucket compared right. to right. the rest of the world so when you're dealing with a market that's small you end up in a situation where yeah everything's very volatile i'm right. just hoping long term that the market grows in terms of volume because that means more people are actually using cryptocurrencies. Right. I mean, I myself have probably used cryptocurrencies this year to make maybe about 10 different purchases of just regular everyday items. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm thinking when I compare that to maybe last year, it was probably about five and the year before might have been two. So it seems like every year I'm doubling. Mm -hmm. So I'm really looking forward to spending, to making 20 or so purchases next year. <laughs> That's right. Exponential uh, growth. Yes. More yeah, and the, yeah. And the year's not out. So who knows? Okay. But yeah. If steam still accepted Bitcoin, I'd probably be using steam right now. Okay. <laughs> to All buy right. some games now by the way uh, let me just throw this out there so lubin of, of consensus the big ethereum company said that he thought that speculators had created this this correction i don't know if he has what where what his source of information is but and i don't know if there's funny business with you know the whales as they call them the speculators people with lots of funds but Regardless, yeah, so that, that was, he, he has a, a paper, you can look for it on the web, that it gives his thoughts about this latest correction. Yeah, I mean, I honestly have no idea. Volume's still really small, so it obviously makes, creates trouble. And then there are a lot of the coins that crash too, a lot of the dip, like, were things that dropped like 99%, and that was because there was literally one person trading them and they left. <laughs> <laughs> You okay. know, there was one person selling to everybody else who was buying it. Right, right. Okay. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, speculation is a huge, huge part of this market. But right. I think that's a good thing because even on its surface, people find the idea interesting. And the more people you get involved in looking at it, the better. Right, right. right. Yeah. So so what else What else should we talk about? What else is going on? Uh, what else do we have on the list? Um what was the other thing that I missed before? Oh, so you could talk about the, the tech guide. I think that was another Oh, thing. yeah. Yeah, so uh, Christian, actually, he wrote a really great technical guide on Ethereum Classic. It applies to really all Ethereum chains, but it we wrote it for ourselves, so we would have one. It's really good. Probably going to link it link to it from ethereumclassic.org very soon uh, okay. after a little more review but it really explains in fairly accessible language how everything works so it kind of toes this line between being consumable by somebody with a small amount of tech knowledge to somebody who wants to program with etc and wants to know how everything works so really great job on that christian uh thank you yes and for people listening i encourage you to send me you know corrections feedback on that i have no illusions that of the, the how long it takes to perfect something like this and my my vision is to have a wonderful resource if somebody wants to even download the the pdf or a, get even buy a textbook in the future just have like one a one-stop shop where they can pretty much get all their questions answered. That's that's what I'm I'm aiming for. And so I need all the help I can get because I know it'll take a long time to do that last uh you know 10 or 15%, get it just 
super polished. So anyways, just wanted to Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, writing writing is a difficult process. I completely sympathize with you there. <laughs> and yeah, there's already one person on the Discord channel. He expressed interest in reading it over and making edits. So I think he's looking at it. And then, you know, longer term, once we get it to a good polished point, we may want to start thinking about getting some community members to help translate it to other languages so that it's more accessible. Because right now, cryptocurrencies, even though they're in a lot of places that seems that the majority of the information and particularly the technical information is still very much in English. So right. we'd like to help improve that. Right. So, I, I mean, obviously we, we want to have a, a Ch Chinese translation as soon as possible. Right. And then, <laughs> and then other, well, I don't know what other languages have are associated with big ETC communities, but uh, yes, whatever people want and need, we'll, we'll do our best. Yeah, uh, China, Korea, okay, yes. has a can, Japanese, has a maybe. Size, yeah. yeah, Japanese, uh, you know, Spanish in general. There's, a, for example, you have Venezuela where they're just using Bitcoin right. to hedge against their own national currencies. So anywhere there too would be great to help empower people who are technically skilled to be able to provide things to everybody else and improve their situation more. So we'd love to see that. Right. Right. Very good. All right. So um, as, as we come to a close, I think we've covered all the major uh, topics to update everybody in the ETC community. That's great. The summit, of course, coming up, uh, you know, great or work on working on uh, documentation to the best of our ability the Coinbase listing. So yeah, lots of good stuff happening. Anything else you want to add to that? Uh, no, that that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, just I would say if you're listening and you like ETC and you've read about it, uh, one thing we can always use is more people speaking up about it. Uh, we're seeing that more and more now where on Twitter and on Reddit, you know, there's a lot of people who will talk negatively about etc and not completely understand the situation we're in or the incredible progress we've managed to make in two years of going from having a lot of funding and a lot of support to none and having to basically rebuild from scratch to stick to our ideals uh -huh. and if that's the type of thing that appeals to you i just you know urge you to you know speak up and tell people about etc and don't take offense because a lot of times when people ask that question, like, why the hell is Coinbase listing ETC? That's a legitimate question that comes from a legitimate place of uh, people just not knowing why Coinbase will list ETC when there are, are many good reasons. And that's not the only thing, too. It's not just about getting a Coinbase listing. It's about making this cryptocurrency long-lasting and viable and still sticking to the core principles and the fundamentals of cryptocurrencies that make them viable and make them reliable long term. Right. Right. So yeah. right. What if uh I was gonna say semi seriously, what if we maybe we need a scandal? Doesn't that get a lot of YouTube a big view count, something like that? If we had an ETC scandal in the news. Something. Are you volunteering? <laughs> well okay, let's well I'll put a request out there. Somebody send it <laughs> make a good scandal. Okay. All right. That All sounds right. great. All right. Thank you, Pyscope. Uh, yes. All right. Thanks, Christian. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.